So welcome all to another short video unboxing and going over the Dell XPS 13 the other week. I did not even realize that the only video output port is a USB-C connector. And I had this issue already last year reviewing the bigger Dell XPS 15, which also only had an USB-C port in addition to an HDMI port. So the problem with the HDMI port was um, that I think it's not HDMI 2, so you would not get 4K at 60 Hertz out of it. So last year I only used the HDMI with either 30 Hertz or maybe lower resolution screen. But this year this machine has nothing else, so we finally need to get some dongles. One thing I ordered, and actually they are still a little bit hard to find. Last year I did not find any in the local stores here in central Berlin. So I ordered those of, of Amazon. And to finally have a supply, um, as most machines in the future will only have USB-C, I got a USB-C to display port and a USB-C to HDMI. And actually this is a pretty neat one. This is a active to HDMI to 4K Ultra HD adapter. So the funny thing is I was at the Apple store because I thought, okay, MacBook also has USB-C and they should have some adapter and they only have this uh, multi-port thing, which I think also doesn't support 60 Hertz, 4K and something totally old fashioned, VGA or something. So then the genius wanted to offer me a um, USB-C to Thunderbolt 2 and then Thunderbolt 2 to, uh, I don't know, display port maybe. But this were really too many dongles for me and I wanted to have something more slim. So this is a just passive cable um, USB-C to display port, which should work with this Dell 4K display. And um, this HDMI adapter should also be quite neat for the future to have a, a simple port. And I wanted to show one more thing. So with all the dongle situation with the latest MacBooks, only having USB-C and nothing else, and the, the Mac fans always saying, yeah, you can have a dongle for everything. This is how a dongle for everything looks like. A dongle for everything. And so this is, and this is what Apple forced on us all the last 10 years. So this mini DVI or whatever it was called at Apple to VGA to uh, DVI. This is uh, from some of those dongles. I have it even hard to remember from what it is. This may be from the cube. Um, I guess from the looks it's, it's just maybe some VGI extender. This is my daily Ethernet um, mini display port uh, Thunderbolt and Nowadays you need so many adapters, you need more adapters than laptops and PCs. Some of them even unpacked. This I have even totally no idea. This is DVI to DVI, maybe from a G5 or Mac Pro. Why I have here DVI to DVI, I have absolutely no idea. This is DVI to VGA, you see un unpacked, probably came with the machine and who is using VGA. This is DVI to VGA. Actually, did not find any USB C to um, DVI. So, this is why I got this HDMI 2. And from something, uh, I guess from our Beamer, I have here HDMI to DVI. And I tested this already the other day. So, if you want USB C to DVI, you can also pair it with another adapter. So, now we're going. To connect my office display here, um, Dell 4K from two years ago, using this USB-C to display port. So this is actually interesting. With the Intel driver, the Intel driver did not correctly configure and unite this MST multi-stream technology two halves of the 4K display with the mode setting driver actually. This works flawlessly. This is, of course, a little bit unexpected. So there you have it, uh, 4K. 4K at 60 Hz with Linux um, with USB-C.